What's up team? Full as this is again Amy. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to Egg of my canal. So in today's video, I'm going to share with you guys one of my favorite dish. This is um, my favorite fish ever, red sniper. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to first start with seasoning the fish. I like to season the fish at least 24 hours before um i'm ready to prepare my dish so this is actually the next the day before um i'm i've already cleaned the fish and i'm going to season it and um, i season it with onions garlic and some fish season i thought i was filming during season but the camera wasn't on so this is the next day after i season it i just um put it in the fridge and then allow it to stand there for the next day so this is the next day these are all the ingredients i'm going to use i have my pan ready i have um, my plantain this is fried fish and plantain with a little bit of um like a little bit of sauce on the side i really liked it so i've already cut my plantain i'm gonna add a little bit of salt and then i'm going to put that one aside now i'm going to cut the onions i'm just going to cut everything into slight um small pieces and then put it aside i like to get all the um, ingredients ready before i start cooking so at least the cooking process is more easy not when you are cooking and then you have to be cutting stuff and then cooking it so i don't really don't like it so now i'm going to add a little bit of ginger and garlic into it i'm going to mix the ginger and garlic together but i'm going to cut it in a very very tiny tiny pieces so i'm just going to cut the ginger first because yeah and then now i'm going to cut the garlic and then i'm also going to cut it as very as tiny like really really tiny pieces i don't like to grater the um, the garlic so i just like to cut it like a tiny tiny pieces and now i'm just going to mix everything together so after cutting all i'm cutting all of this i'm going to cut the rest of the ingredients i'm going to add some pepper um, um some madame chinette pepper some just for a little bit of spice but i'm not going to add like a whole lot of pepper because of the ginger alone it's um a bit spicy so now i'm going to add some of my um, paprika you guys know i love um colored paprika so i'm gonna like um cut half half of um all of the colors paprika that i have and then i'm going to use that so we don't really need a lot for this recipe um it's really very very, very simple it's very delicious recipe like this is really good for like late at night um if you want to sit down on the couch you want to watch movie or you want to surprise your husband your fiance whoever you want to give a special treatment this is like one of my favorites like so yeah um after i've cut the pepper now i'm going to cut the tomatoes I, I always like to put tomatoes last because the tomato have a lot of water so i'm gonna cut tomato like in a very like slight slight small small one put that one aside i don't really need a lot of tomato because i don't have a lot of fish like this is my last fish <laughs> so i was like okay let me just make this and um enjoy myself but i'm definitely going to the market very soon to get me fish because i love this fish and i really don't like um not having this fish at home you know because i don't always every single day make this food but at least once a month i need to make it sometimes twice a month depending on the mood and the appetite you know sometimes like you work so much you're just exhausted and the weekend is here and i'm just like you know what let me just give myself some treatments let me just get my fish from the freezer clean it, season it, get everything ready, got my plantain, and then after dinner, take shower, put on my PJs, look for some movie to watch on Netflix, and then I have my fish by my side. It's, it's amazing. So yeah, now I'm going to start with frying the plantain first, because I like to fry the plantain first when the oil is like clean, because as soon as you fry the fish, the the color of the oil kind of change because of all the the season on the fish so i always like to first start with um frying the 
the the plantain and after frying the plantain then i'll go ahead and fry and fry the fish this time the fish was a little bit too big but i'm looking for like a more bigger frying pan than this one because this one is a little bit small sometimes i have some fish that will perfectly fit into this frying pan and some i will have sometimes i will have some fish there that are a little bit big and they don't fit properly into the frying pan so yeah but i'm looking for one i haven't really seen um a bigger frying pan um than this one if you guys have any websites that you can find much more bigger frying pan let me know so you guys can see the fish does not like fully fit into the frying pan because the pan is a little bit small so now i'm just going to fry the fish i always like to close it because mm -hmm, this fish sometimes the eyeball will just like poof the oil and i don't like it so now i'm done frying the fish i love i love the color the color is looking really nice so i like to put the fish on top of this um thing so that the oil can drain out a little bit and when the oil drain out, I like to turn the oil into a different um, glass container, wash the pan, and then go ahead and make this little sauce. So I start first with the garlic and ginger that I cut into slight pieces. And now I'm going, I add the onions, um, add the onions, and then I will add the paprika. I think the tomato is going to be one of the last things that I'm going to be adding because tomato has a lot of water and um i don't want it to be too waterish so after leaving it for like five minutes for it to steam and now i'm going to be adding the tomato so at this time now we don't have to overcook the paprika and other things just allow it to steam because i cut it very very tiny so it steams very quickly so yeah now I add the tomato and then we're gonna allow it to steam i'm going to add the rest of my season i have me some some of this seasoning i'm just going to add some bay leaf some rosemaries and just add it you can cut it if you want to but i just like to put it um onto the sauce like this i love the aroma of the rosemary it's so beautiful like the whole house was smelling beautiful when i was making this the postman came to drop some packets and he was like hmm it's like lacquer here uh it meant mm, it smells delicious here and i was like thank you so i love it i love this recipe so now i'm gonna add some thyme and i'm going to add some seasoning um if you want um if you like it if you're somebody that like like spicy food you can add more paprika more like like that really african um madam chinette pepper to make it a little bit spicy i am not a fan of spicy food like I, mm -mm, I cannot stand i want to enjoy the food i don't want my whole face to be on 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 uh, on fire no so i don't really like too much spice just a little bit go a long way i feel like also the ginger also um helps a little bit with the spiciness so for me that is enough so after adding everything now i'm going to close the pan allow it to steam so whilst that one was steaming i'm going to set the tray where I put the the plantain and now I'm going to put the fish um, into the pan. I like the fish to like kind of steam a little bit. So I'm going to add some base leaf and rosemary into the fish just for like that sweet, that's that like really delicious aroma smell. So yeah, that's what I'm going to do. And then just allow it to steam for like a few minutes. So now as you guys can see, I've laid the plantain now i'm going to put the fish and i'm going to put the sauce at the side with a cold bottle of malt or vinto drink you're ready to go so this is one of my favorites I, I think i have multiple videos on my channel on this particular recipe i love it and you guys love it you guys love this recipe i love it too so team flesh this is it if you all like this video don't forget to leave a comment in the comment box. Don't forget to follow me on my Instagram, on my Facebook like page. All the links will be down in the description box. Thank you all so much for your love and support. I really, really appreciate it. And I'll see you all in my next video. Peace out. Bye.